Hello, my friends. When I meet with engaged couples for marriage preparation, one of my goals is for them to understand what they're saying when they say, I do. Or in other words, what are you committing to when you say, I do? This is the same preparation that Jesus is doing with his followers who want to be disciples in today's readings of Luke chapter 9, verse 57 to 62. He addresses three followers who want to be disciples. To the first man who says, he will follow Jesus wherever you go. Jesus warns him, be careful what you say. The life of a disciple is a hard one. There are difficult journeys and there are those who disagree with you and there are those who will fight you. To the second man, his answer about let the dead bury their dead may seem harsh to us. But again, he's not being trying to be disrespectful to a dying father or to a dying person. He's trying to prepare his future disciples. We are trying to bring many spiritually dead to life. This is what is more important, life in the kingdom. To the third follower, which is the one that I most relate to, and the one that any farmer knows, if you're guiding a plow, you can't keep your rows straight if you look back, if you're looking behind. You must keep your focus on what's ahead. This third message is true for the disciples, but it also reminds me of the truth in my life. When you're middle-aged, how many times, how many important decisions have you made in your life? Have you ever wondered, what if I made this decision? Or what if I made that decision? What if I took that job instead of this job? What if I didn't turn down that job but took it? Where would you be today? Why would you waste time? That's what Jesus tell, it's telling the men today in the second part, the second man. Why would you waste time wondering or looking back? You are where you are and you are who you are. If you want to grow, look at where you want to go and look forward to what's next. Today's scripture shows the compassion that Jesus has for those who want to follow him. But he also, as so many times scripture does, gives us valuable life lessons if we open our hearts to his word. There are so many truths. There are so many truths in scripture. As we celebrate today the feast day of one of our great scripture scholars, St. Jerome, I ask you to think about taking a little time to grow from scripture. Whether you pray Lexio Divina or just read and ponder on a passage, pick a scripture passage and grow. You'll be surprised how many times when Jesus is speaking to his disciples or speaking to the crowds or speaking to a person, he's really speaking to you. May God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.